No advertisement today Can be playing some rocks Cause six equals six Oh, music just stopped I like how the music just stopped abruptly Oh, okay. No, I was just going to the demo <laughs> Let's go to the demo. Beautiful. Amazing. Ten out of ten. Yeah, okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. So, welcome ladies and gentlemen of Twachi YouTube. Twachi Tube. Twachi yeah, Twachi Tube, yeah. You know, we're playing Rocks. Another Phoenix Games game. Will it disappoint me? I don't know. Another game made by Ultron. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing that that company name before. I'm pretty sure they've made it, made uh, made games that Phoenix Games have published in, in Europe. I think. Look, Ultron made this in 1998. Phoenix Games published it in 2003. Left that a bit too long, don't you think, Phoenix Games? So I think this is a puzzle game of some kind. So fuck no. Just play. Right on, uh, I'm gonna play it on easy. You know what? I'm gonna play it on easy because I suck. <laughs> because I suck at games. That's why. <coughs> this is a puzzle game. Well, like you see from the demo, it's uh. Oh, is it like dominoes? Mixed with uh. That goes down really slow. <laughs> is it like dominoes, I guess? I'm gonna pair them together, so. What is going on? What am I? I don't even want to look at this. I'm, I'm I'm using common sense, and I assume this to be like tetra, Tetris or something. Clearly, it's not. Whoa! What the fuck? I just connected three. fuck is this game? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't understand why the ones worked. I don't get it. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose because I don't get it. It's fucking whatever. Okay. That did something. I, I, I somehow did not die. Yeah, but that's so many. Yeah, well, I say that's so many points. Now it just gives me it. Is it got to be six? But that doesn't make sense. I don't, I... I don't get it. I really don't get it. I completely and utterly do not get this game at all. Sorry, but I don't. I don't. I don't get it. What am I supposed to be doing? I don't get why I got those points. I don't get, don't get it. I, I, I'm just putting it wherever. I don't know. Fucking know. Yeah, let's go here. But, uh, for some reason that got something. I'm... What? A... What's, what's going on? Can someone um, evaluate what this is. I don't know. I'm crying. I don't know. <laughs> Please help. I don't get it. Oh, I, I, I win apparently. I don't, I don't get it. 
What causes you to get points? I don't have the manual or nothing I can refer to. So I have no clue. How am I getting points? How does this game work? How does this game function as an entity? Like this? Door, door two, three? No? Apparently not. I guess not. Okay. I don't care, I really don't care. It's a, it's a puzzle game. It's... Uh, it's like, why did that work? It's trying to be like Tetris, but it's not. It's doing... <coughs> it's like doing its own thing. I don't really get it. Oh, look at that! I saw... <laughs> you probably will win! What did I just say? What did I just say? Oh yeah, I probably will win. What did it do? It was like, yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go, no problem. You know what you want? You want, <laughs> you want sauce with that? <laughs> you want chicken nuggets with that? Uh, yeah, sure. I got, I got some chicken nuggets. I got some good ones. So, you know, made in Brazil. Why are they? Why, why Brazilian nuggets? I don't know. Don't question it. What you get it? How was that something? Yeah. <laughs> that leveled me up somehow for now. It's just gonna blast everything off the screen again. I'm winning in this game and I don't even understand how. Let that sink in for a second. I'm winning in this game. And I don't even understand how I'm winning. I don't even know what's going on. Maybe we're gonna stop fucking just filling up the screen like this. And then there you go, boom! You win! I don't get it! For Tetris, it's, it's, it's simple. It's just like meant to be like a combination. I don't I don't know how to play dominoes. I, yeah, you may go, oh fuck me, how do you not know how to play dominoes? It's like a really simple game. Um, I don't know. No one, no, no one I knew ever played dominoes when I was younger. It's just a thing. That. Sorry, but I'm sorry. I don't even know how this is working. Somehow this is working. Somehow I'm right? getting this together. Oh no, we're fine, because the game just decided to let me win. Once again. <laughs> the game's just like, yeah, hey, go, we'll win some more. Win some more. I'll just, I'll put a slide in there. <laughs> Get it. I'm leveling up! I've already beaten the high score. I've beaten a high score on something I don't even understand how to play. Well, you know, there's, there's no real skill in this game, you know, just fucking do what you like and you win, you know? Yeah, I see it. Let's go. Perfect. See this game? Perfect. Perfect game. <laughs> so, uh, how's everyone today? Just, uh, you know. Join Red Dead and play the little bit of this. Man, I do a for the day. Alright, yeah, of course. I knew that. I saw that combination. A mile off. I don't see how you could run. Because they're obviously the ultimate combination. Easily the combination in the top 20. Most best combinations in 2085. You know what I mean? Just gotta put them together. Put them together and boom. Shikala. Shikala got. Shikala got the movie. It's 
a, it's a good movie. It's like Shikaka. You ever seen Shikaka the movie? The Ace Ventura pet, pet, pet spaghetti. He's a good man, Ace Ventura. He, he comes at you, you know, this, this the, at a Jim Carrey pace. You can't, you can't complain about Jim Carrey pace, you know what I mean? You ever played a Jim Carrey pace? It's a pretty good pace. Play. Pretty good, uh... No one complains about the Jim Carrey base. Jim Carrey base is clearly the best fort you can get. You haven't decided to build a box fort, even though know, the Jim Carrey fort is really good. Uh, I don't know how I did that, but yep, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a good fort, you know? And I, I've always enjoyed making box forts. And you gotta make the Jim Carrey Ace Ventura box fort. It's the best fort you really ever get each hand on. And I just leveled up. Um, yeah. Oh, we're now onto now we're now onto the, the top the top top score top percentage. Just speed up a little bit. It's uh, be fine because you just gotta now deal with the color dice. So it's fine. So you put it all together. A big one a big pattern. No one's gonna look at it. No one's gonna question your ethics. See, look, no one, no one question your ethics. You just slot it in there. No problem. No questions asked. I wouldn't ask questions. Why would you ask questions? Who in their right mind would ask questions? Questions are uh, like enemies of mankind. Ask que ask too many questions. Boom. Just like that. See, that's that was a, that was what I called the spaghetti style move. You don't talk about the spaghetti. Move. You just put it in. Boom. Just like that. Just little points like that. It's what adds to the percentage at the end. Boom. See? Look at that. But you didn't see that coming. This is why they call me this master of spaghetti. Have you not understood this? I am clearly... I'm clearly the country of Jerusalem incarnate, you know? You gotta get into this certain mindset. Once you get into this mindset, the game is just, like, easy. Just put it together. Ooh, you create a... You create a maelstrom or uh, absolute cancer. Don't worry, the alarms will come at you in a uh, different kind of way. Hellscape. We don't ask the Hellscape questions. We don't ask the Hellscape questions. Hellscape moves uh, giving you uh, different moves, uh, masters of the disguise realm. You see that? See, you know, this, they don't call me a master of the dice for nothing. <laughs> They'll call me the master of the uh, master of the dice for nothing. Did you see that move? That was clearly a move that no one could ever perform again in their whole entire life. That was called a 12 gauge Link of Destruction. You ever seen you ever seen uh, Link in the Faces of Evil? You know, you know when they bring up the box art for that, they, you know they take out the box art. You know, I drew that. I was the master behind that. He looked at me in the in the sky, and the Moon Man said to me. I am the one. I am the I am the survivor. See? You don't understand the puzzle games are like my bread and butter. I just you know, boom, 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 like that. You just put them together and boom. You look at it and go, oh look at your percentage, you got nothing. You got absolutely nothing and then boom. You bring the ultimate move. Because people don't expect it. People don't expect the ultimate move, they just look at it. They believe you to be some kind of uh, tyrannical dinosaur. And I'm like, what? I'm not a dinosaur. What the hell are you talking about? No, have you not seen Adam Sandler's movie Dinosaurs? Uh, you know, a Disney film? Very, very compelling movie about Adam Sandler's uh, cope with depression as a dinosaur in a world that is not full of dinosaurs, but instead full of dinosaurs. Have you not seen X Men? X-Men, like, tyrannical edition. X-Men's a difficult movie to understand. It's very high-brow. You know, I would understand. I wouldn't understand X-Men. Would you understand X-Men? I would understand it. X-Men's a very uh, complex movie. It's, uh, got very complex characters. It's a very complex movie. A little complex character. <laughs> 
I don't even know what's going on. I'm so I'm just I'm like I'm just putting these wherever, and it gets close to the end, and I'm just like blagging it. <laughs> Boom! Just win. I just don't question it. I just win. I'm on level seven. I don't even know how to play this game, but I'm on level seven. You know? Just no question. No, no question. Oh, you see that? They call that the the ultimate age move. Have you not seen it? Have you ever played Elder Scrolls Skyrim? This is the move that they invented. The Elder Scrolls Skyrim. A special edition. You know, Todd Howard's special edition, if you know what I mean. You know, it means he basically put his love and soul into it. If he, you know, I, I'm just going to say that one is. He, he put something into it. You may question what it is. But questions should never be answered. And never should be asked at the same time. Todd Howard is a genius. He's a genius of our time. Understand, I'm trying to create a castle here. I'm trying to build a world. A world to the destruction of humanity as we know it. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? You see this? These are what they call the moves of a master. A master of the dice. It's like one, two, three, four. I'm knocking on your door, you know? Ooh, you see that? It's like, a, it's like a, that was a spear in your face. You ever had a spear hit you so hard you cried a, a river of blood? This is exactly the move that I'm pulling. No one asks the questions, no one asks the answers. You get this pain, suffering, the hands of the dictator. What is going on? I'm just talking absolute shit. I'm talking absolute, absolute shit. And just moving the fucking blocks around, not even looking. I'm just like, yeah, that'll go there, that'll go there. And boom, I win. Let me go, oh, but this is easy mode. It may be easy mode. I, I'd like to reiterate, I still don't know how to play this game. I still do not know how to play this game. I'd like to reiterate. I'm winning, and I don't even know how I'm winning. Why am I winning? Just whatever, you know. Here goes here, here goes there, there goes here, there goes everywhere. You've now seen this movie, hit movie, uh, Child Soldier. Movie. It's movie. It's got Will Smith, uh, Dennis Rodman, you know. Have you not seen this film? Rick Rodman's um, acting debut was in this film. He's a great actor. He did a very good, uh, he played a very good uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in there in the film. He did a very good job of it. You know, very good. I really thought he could be the next Terminator person. You know, I, Kim Jong Un plays a really good Terminator uh, in uh, the Dictator uh, Part Two: Revenge of the Bull. <coughs> That's just how I expect to see him nowadays. Just put him in the situation. Boom! You got the Terminator. They got that like magnesium guy who comes at you in the night. You ask the question, what, what is a magnesium guy? You don't, you don't answer the question. It's the moon man. The moon man watches you while you sleep. And, you know, realistically, would you, would you want to ask that question? I wouldn't. The moon man's a deadly guy, you know. I wouldn't want to cross him first. He's a scary blow. You know, I'd be scared of the moon man. The moon man's scared of me. Thoroughly scared for my life by the moon man. And I've just, I've just leveled up again. Yeah, you know, let's get to level ten. This is level ten. Is a good level, you know, when you reach level ten, you become the ultimate. You know, you see this? I'm getting so many points because you know I'm just forcing the blocks down. You, know, you don't need to be a master of the point system. What you gotta be is a master of life. Universe and everything uh, before yourself and after yourself. Have you not seen the hit movie to, um, uh, to Toy Soldiers with the, with the toys that are like really cool? Have you not seen Watership Down? Watership Down is a great film. It, 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 it decided to, but BBC decided to butcher this film by uh, making a live action remake that doesn't have the, the same level of gore as the original. You know, the, the film is supposed to traumatize you. That's the whole entire point of the film. It doesn't, it, the film does not traumatize you. The film is clearly not doing its job. That's what you don't understand. The film has got to traumatize you as a, uh, as a child. The film does not traumatize you. You are clearly not watching the film the way it's intended. Because if you're 
we're not traumatized by the fifth act of the film. Really, something is wrong with your humanity, and you should be lost. Who you are as a person should be taken into question. This is what I believe. Personally, you know, you push you down, you're clearly the ultimate Bugs Bunny film. You don't see Bugs Bunny? Bugs Bunny is a good film. It's, uh, stars, uh, you know, stars Stalin. You know Stalin? So that's a good film. Stalin's a good, uh, good actor. He's, uh, he's been there since the beginning. Not seen him. He used to be a, a really prolific celebrity in Russia. Um, but he was kind of like a, had a really big ego. A lot of people consider this ego to be very dictator like. And people generally didn't speak, didn't speak, didn't speak They thought, you know, uh, you know, this is the Charlie Sheen fiasco all over again. The question you gotta ask yourself is, do you want another Charlie Sheen Mark II Avenger of the Fallen Electric Boogaloos? You know, you don't want to ask these questions, but the questions get asked anyway. <coughs> and, and there you go. Before you know it, Charlie Sheen is actually playing Stalin in Machete 3, which, uh, uh, Blood, Blood Loop Boogaloo. Don't worry about that. We don't, we don't really want anything like that to happen. So, it's okay. We do well. And because of it, that's the thing, what you don't realize is, um, Charlie Sheen and Stalin were literally, like, the same creep person. They just lived in different communities. It's quite an interesting, uh, concept that was posed forward by David Attenborough. Have you seen the David Attenborough documentary on Charlie Sheen? Included Mark II. Uh, Car Seeking Revenge. Have you seen Car Seeking Revenge? It's a really interesting film. I, I, Stalin's very prolific actor. not like the film, let's be honest. It's really, really, really emotional, really emotional film. Rick's gonna do this. Fuck off, game. Fuck off, I thought I was gonna lose. Fuck off, game. Alright, alright, alright. I wanna lose. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna fucking die at this point. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Game, please. Okay, Phoenix Games. Okay, okay. This, you know, this game was amusing. Just because, like, you know, I'm winning for no reason whatsoever. Let's leave it on 11. Let's leave it on 11, you know. It's fine. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with leaving it on 11. That would do. That would do, pig. That would do. Oh, what if I play any more of this? I'm just gonna just turn into uh, an insanity reincarnate. I hope you enjoyed. And this is Rocks. I don't, still don't know how to play this game. <laughs> this is Byron. See ya.